हेलो सुदर्शन हाँ सुदर्शन हाँ मैं डॉक्टर मैं वैष्णव वैष्णव जॉन अभी आगस्ट टू थोर Anil, let's start. It's twelve ten. Uh, people can join you. You start presenting. Oh, yes. So shall we start? Uh, hi, good afternoon, everyone. Yes, Anil. I think that's better. Uh, so is it audible, my boys? Is it audible? Yes, you are clearly audible. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. So good afternoon, everyone. Just uh, as you know, so our Vikarabad team is working in different initiatives like crop diversification in cotton, cot, or crop diversification in red gram, a poly crop in vegetables, desi poultry and desi paddy, uh, natural farming activities, integrated farming, uh, small ruminants and fisheries, farm ponds, etc., etc. And even we have institutions like uh, three cooperatives in Vikarabad district, and one. Uh, Arka FPC. So in this regard, uh, last week uh, my colleagues Lakshman and Anil shared a few things about this SVKs. In this context, I would like to share a few things on crop diversification in cotton. Just I'll share the uh, PPT. Anil, uh, could you please introduce yourself? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, I'll... Did I meet you before? No, no, sir. Sorry. Uh, I am Anil, uh, who is working in Vikarabha, uh, uh, and uh, my team, I mean, uh, we are working with different initiatives in Vikarabha, uh, so as I shared before. So we, uh, so I am here to discuss crop diversification and cotton. We are conducting a season-long sandwich program on crop diversification and cotton, so under the guidance of Sri Venkatraman Garu. No, that, that that's okay. That I just want to know uh, when yes, you um, joined in parcel to looking after all this. I know Anil look oh, oh, for a party. <laughs> I thought uh, you were the one. <laughs> so that's no, why. No. It's yes, okay. Yes. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, straight away you can go for presentation. Yes, sir. I understand. Uh, hi, I think it is visible for everyone. Yes. Uh, nice. So, so before starting this, I will share a few things like, uh, so as I said earlier, we are conducting a season-long program 
uh, on crop diversification in cotton. We completed two trainings, and the training will be at, from tomorrow onwards for two days. Is there any questions? ఉన్నాయి <laughs> so coming to this uh, cotton in telangana i mean uh, we know that so india is the largest producer of cotton uh, overall uh, global wide so we are producing around 25% of cotton from india in india uh, maharashtra gujarat telangana they are the top producers of this uh, cotton so almost telangana is producing 16% of cotton prakrada gorla bhai basanta guru aur aditya ko gote rung de bole hi hi please uh, you can continue so don't so in telangana a uh, few districts like adilabad nalgonda warangal they are producing more cotton chitrakutula uh, uh, kotila va so converting this mono cropping to cotton is there are uh, adjustment uh, fine sir for us bola for je jar there are too many reasons like a demand for the cotton subsidies for seeds and fertilizers and they are getting minimum supporting price okay uh, so to this cotton replaced uh, these food crops like pulses oil seeds millets uh, because they are getting a subsidized seeds and fertilizers and they are uh, claiming that there are high yielding varieties to get more yield and pest resistant uh, uh, genetically modified varieties for pe uh, pest resistant these things that's why these things are uh, sh shifted from uh, multi cropping to mono cropping so but as uh, many of them are uh, claiming that bt i mean uh, cotton producers are getting more incomes but as we uh, as we discussed with our farmers from atiriyani mandal and atiriyani and uh, vikarabad district uh, they are claiming that they are getting around 3 to 10 quintals based on soil types wagaira and they are getting just 3100 net profit to 38000 different different uh, situations we'll discuss these things in further slides so so as we discussed uh, saying that cotton is getting more yield but there are too many reasons to get a lesser yields also like as uh, 3100 is getting from uh, one place from vikarabad district so we'll discuss these things clearly further uh, so our motto is to uh, bring diversity back into cotton so major ob major objective of this program is to to promote natural farming crops with crop diversification uh, where the farmers are using high highest chemicals for the cotton itself in dry lands area also, also so and one more to build strong field cattle those who are young generation those who can uh, motivate others so we are focusing mainly cattle building in cotton and to demonstrate a diversification crops like which crops can be inserted in between cotton without uh, disturbing uh, their uh, growth or yield and to to establish strong extensive systems like demo farms and ffs farmer field schools okay so coming to uh, this uh, so that's why we to achieve i mean like to achieve this uh, crop diversification in cotton we initiated one uh, season long cadre building program so the main objective of this uh, sandwich program is to develop cadre cadre for natural farming with crop diversification like what kind of crops can be inserted like how to control pest and disease uh, okay so first we started with this we circulated these brochures uh, we circulated these brochures to the groups uh, these things and who are eligible for this uh, training like who is having a, uh, a, a farmer fields and those who are in the same village and willing to teach others like motivate others who can be uh, a motivate others and they know little bit like writing and speaking so that 
they can share whatever the things whatever the issues they are facing in the field they can be able to send through whatsapp or through voice note so those kind of uh, forms were identified by that so uh, just a moment uh -huh. so So these are the topics we plan to cover in, uh, actually we, we started this season long program for five trainings. So from starting to, from before sewing of a cotton and la, up to the last season, like picking of cottons, cotton balls. So in, we plan these many trainings, like training one, training two. So far we have completed two trainings. We'll discuss the things like what we discussed with the farmers and what are the outputs came from these uh, trainings. So this is the broadly we planned these many activities. So, so as I said, we we uh, we shared those brochures to the farmers, and we enrolled the farmers like how how we enrolled the things like brochures circulate to the cooperatives. So we have so as I said earlier, we have three cooperatives in three mandals, and we have one one Araka uh, farmer producer company. So we have uh, BOD members from each and every village, so that. Uh, we got information from the BODs, those who are interested, discussed in the cooperative BOD meetings, and later we conducted village level meetings and listed the uh, names like who are our, who are eligible and what are the important of this training, and listed the names through the BOD members. Like we have one, uh, we have created one uh, Google form, uh, basic information like I'll show uh, these things. Shortlisted farmers, oh uh, yeah. So this is the Google form, like how we uh, we identify the farmers, like their basic details, like their educational qualification, whether they are practicing natural farming or not, or at least they might have heard of natural farming regarding. Uh, so we have cooperatives as well as in a Tiriani Mandal, they are uh, working with rice centers. Instead of cooperatives, they have rice centers where all these people will work. And so, as I said, we got these main responses from the farmers, like the age group from 24 to 33, we received around 36% of the farmers. So they are just in 24 to 33 and we received 28% from 34 to 43 age group. And from the age group of 44 to 55, 53, we got a 29% and 54 to 63, they know basic things like uh, reading and writing and they have experience in natural farming. So we got this kind of responses from these farmers. Oh, so once the enrollment is done, uh, so, so as I said, right, this kind of farmers receive in a first training. So as I said, we plan five trainings. So this is the first training. We plan this training on May 7th and 8th. So in this first training, we focused on like how the crop systems were uh, like uh, when they were uh, next. Uh, just I'll show, uh. So these are the things like how they used to cultivate in their olden age. I mean, with their uh, farmers, the uh, age group or whatever. We asked the farmers to write down from the past six decades what kind of crop they used to cultivate, whether uh, whether a mono crop or single crop. So we got these many informations uh, from the farmers. And we cultivated, I mean, uh, we calculated a cost of cultivation, like how they used to get, like, uh, what kind of uh, incomes they used to get from these crops. Uh, for example, in Parigi and Bumra Spetka, they used to spend around 38,000 and they got income around 42,000. So their net profit is just 3,100 rupees. These calculations were uh, prepared by the farmers itself. They were they were sat uh, in a group. They discussed they discussed in their groups and they mentioned these uh, uh, cost details. And this is a one more mandal in Vikarabad district itself. They used to spend around seventy two thousand six hundred rupees for their investment, even though uh, just. 
so even though they are getting 108000 but their net profit is 35400 itself So coming to the one more mandal in Vikarabad district, two places, they they per, I mean they invested a thirty three thousand in red soils. They got fifteen thousand profit, and in some more black soils, they invested thirty three thousand, but they got thirty eight thousand their profit. So in this connection, even though they are getting thirty five thousand as a profit in a previous slide. I mean, in Adoma Mandal, they invested up to 72,000 to get a 35,000 of profit. But in this case, they invested only 33,000 and they got 38,000 profit in uh, Dautabad Mandal. So these are dependent uh, depend upon like uh, the soil type, uh, these things. We'll discuss these things also clearly. And this is one more case in uh, Dautabad Mandal. They used to invest 49,600 and they got uh, a uh, net profit of uh, 30,000. So here the profit is almost same except Bumara's pet mandal. Remaining three areas, they got around uh, 30 to 35,000 of profit. But even though here they invested 72,600 rupees, here they invested only 33,000 and here they invested only 49,000. So these are the things, these, these profits came from the farmer itself. So after the completion of uh, these things, we just asked the farmers like how they used to cultivate uh, in, in, in previous models like based on uh, monocotyledon, a uh, dicotyledon, like how they used to insert the crops. So some of the farmers, they used to cultivate uh, different crops in between plants, but not in a sequence. So we asked the farmers to do these things. They, they Anil, you can still hear. Others are you able to hear. Yes, yes. Anil, you can still hear. Okay, okay. Anil, can, can you please check your network and... I'll just check. I'll just check, Anil. I'll just check. On, there is some uh, network issue. Anil will be back in a couple of minutes. Sorry, sorry. There is a signal issue here. Uh, so I think I'm clear up to uh, this, right? Hello? Hello, Anil? Is it audible? Yes, yes you are audible, Anil. Please go. I think up, so I completed uh, these slides, right? So PPT is not visible. Share no, your PPT slide is not visible. Start. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No. Share the PPT and start. Yeah, I'm sharing. Is it visible? Yes, yes, ah, yes. confession. Yes, yes, yes. So these crop these crop combinations were uh, given by the farmers itself. So after this uh, training, we have given uh, I mean some action points were emerged. So uh, these are the so action points like before attending to the second training. We ask the farmers like I mean we ask the farmers to discuss with the age group of uh, people those who are aged they need to discuss with those uh, age group people so that uh, they'll get the crop combinations what are the crops they used to cultivate in their olden age our uh, and reasons for uh, leaving these uh, multi crops to sickle crops and uh, they used to discuss like what kind of I mean uh, what kind of crops they, they used to cultivate later. They need to source the seeds from different, uh, if they have 
seeds uh, uh, seeds in their village they used to arrange themselves otherwise daraka co daraka fpc and cooperatives will take lead in vikarabad district area and rice centers in uh, uh, tiryani district uh, tiryani mandal uh, later we asked the farmers to enroll like the farmers who attend the training we treated them as champion farmers and those farmers will go to their house and i mean their village they'll motivate nearby farmers so that these champion farmers will give trainings to them by conducting village level meetings or nearby uh, side by meetings so after this training we ask the farmers to go for pre monsoon dry sowing and preparation of ganaji amrutam for soil uh, health so after this uh, training so as i said earlier we started pre monsoon dry a uh, dry sowing in vikarabad district and as well as uh, tiryani mandal uh, these are the pictures like how uh, we prepared like in pmds we used to uh, do a sowing of 12 to 15 types of seeds first we treated with a jeevamrut and later we did a seed pelletization so broadcasted in their uh, fields next ghana jeevamrut uh, so it is required for however see we know that uh, the chemical the farmers who are practicing in chemical method they used to do fertilizers in different times uh, two to three times throughout the season but in natural farming also we need to provide these things uh, that's why uh, ganjivamtham is main thing for them so first we we conducted few things like uh, community level awareness to the farmers later the champion farmer prepared themselves and asked the farmers near farmers to prepare this ganjivam this is in tiryani mandal they prepared uh, ganaji vamru so before this uh, we before the second training we asked these things to do like pre monsoon dry sowing and ganaji vamru so we did the same and again we we initiated a second training on uh, end of may so these are the topics we cover we planned first we started with uh, after i mean we we started with reviewing pmds things like what they did how they uh, how many of the farmers completed their uh, pmds in their own fields and how many farmers able to motivate their uh, surrounding farmers preparation of ganaji vamrut etc and ask the farmers to present their revised crops uh, in a first session we asked the farmers to do crop combinations by discussing with the farmers or their uh, elder farmers in their village now they came with a second crop combinations mm. so this is from different places like one is adulta work one more uh, doma domra spread atiryani so these are asibal districts they presented their uh, revised the crop combination methods and later we discussed about a uh, pest and disease things the farmers identified what kind of pest they used to notice at so at what stage so based on initial stage or flowering stage uh, productive stage those things. so this is one of the example like these things made by the farmers so at the month of june what uh, they used to uh, notice in the fields july august these things and after the completion of the farmers uh, presentation uh, mr samadhan uh, shared his experience and a given a pest and disease management or uh, techniques mm. so in the, in the same meeting uh, so the farmers were shared their uh, crop combinations with this these are the evolved uh, crop models like uh, how uh, we plan to do so uh, basically we didn't i mean there is no disturbance between their uh, structure they used to cultivate uh, plant to uh, row to row distance is almost 3 feet and plant to plant the distance is 1.6 feet i mean 1.5 to 2 feet based on their soil type so without disturbing the their uh, cotton uh, plants just we did some uh, modifications so what we did just we replaced seventh row of cotton with red gram so just uh, without disturbing those things seventh row will be uh, red gram 
and we did a border crop three layer three rows of a border crop with jowar or bajra and now row to row we just inserted um, row to row like not plant to plant row to row we inserted few crops like if it is a pulses green gram black gram cowpea and oil seeds as same trap crops a sunflower a marigold and millets a foxtail millet and leafy veg vegetables a gongura a uh, palak this is a uh, row to row and plant to plant so without disturbing the main things and we estimated these are the estimations like this would be the profit for the farmers are the so we'll discuss these things in the uh, end of the uh, training so this is one more uh, layout for Taurabad and Bombras pet mandals this is a Parigi mandal in Vikarabad district this is a Tiriani mandal in Kumrabi Masifabad district so these are the crop models evolved in the second training uh, uh, so based on the farmers inputs mm. so after completion of this second training uh, these are the pmds blocks uh, they were incorporated i mean incorporated into the soils so after in incorporated into the soils we did sowings of nf cotton with different crops as we discussed in previous layout these are the crops how they did sowing uh, different more villages this is in uh, vikarabad district and this is in kumrambi masifabad district uh, sowing of NF cotton along with the uh, different crops. Mm, this is the germination of crops like first one is cotton, uh, green gram, uh, gongura, uh, jowar. Mm, these are one more uh, in Nasifabad district. Hmm. So, so as I said earlier, this is main crop will be cotton and uh, diverse crops like green gram, black gram, cowpea. Uh, borders will be this uh, sorghum and bajra, marigold and pende as trap crop. This will be the overall image right now. Uh, so coming to this bio uh, concoctions as we discussed in the second training, a uh, pest disease is the main thing. Control of pest and disease. Pest management and pest control is the biggest issue in natural farming. So everybody says that it's too difficult to control pest and disease in natural farming practices. Uh, to avoid those is issues, we, uh, we get uh, like, uh, we requested a Kadri team to send a farmer resource person, a Khadravali Garu, who is having hands on experience in preparation of concoctions like uh, Dashaparnika Shayam, Nimastra, Agnastra, and uh, growth promoters uh, like Egg Amino Acid, Fish Amino Acid. So, we prepared uh, these things with the help of Khadravali Garu, who is a farmer resource person who came from Kadri. So first we conducted village level meetings with the Khadarwali Garu and we did awareness programs in the villages. Later on, we prepared uh, concoctions at a formal level, uh, those who is having uh, a capability to do. So otherwise, we did a bulk of uh, quantities to make available in the uh, BRC units. And so as I said earlier, we are working with, with the help of uh, Venkat Raman Garu. He is giving advices. I mean, uh, so, these are the field visits made by our uh, Venkatraman Garu. And these are the intercrops, like at different stages. Bird pictures, as well as a pyramid rubs along with the bird. Mm, yes. So up to now we discussed about how we uh, uh, we did uh, natural farming in cotton with the help of different uh, uh, like. Now we need to discuss about soil health. So as I said earlier, they used to do 
uh, they they used to give fertilizers in different stages but here it is too difficult to maintain if if we are not giving in a proper uh, nutrition to the soil then the uh, uh, deficiency will be seen into the in the plants so same way we we promoted ganaji vamru the farmers who is having desi cows uh, we did a community level uh, meetings with the farmers and prepared ganaji vamru them if they have a surplus uh, quantity then it is readily available for farmers through prc units and if those who is not having uh, desi cows we i mean we made the farmers to purchase a farm ad menu and we prepared type to ganaji vamru and a trichoderma uh, so in incorporated trichoderma in the fim to avoid fungal diseases and to enrich the uh, farm ad menus and rhizodyne which is uh, useful useful for improval soil fertility same way humic acid it promotes uh, plant growth and works for uh, a nutrient nutrition deficiencies Uh, same way so as i discussed bio research organic in preparations so uh, that is, uh, previously i discussed about ganajivam a solid menus which is giving into the soil uh, now it is uh, uh, sprays whether it is dravajivam uh, or concoctions wagaira these are the brc we have three bio uh, brcs bio research unit centers in vikarabad district and one in tiryani district uh, tiryani mandal nasifabad district so what we do we prepare drava jeevamrutam and will make readily available to the farmers and botanical extracts so as i said earlier uh, we prepared by uh, concoctions botanical extracts at formal level and even we prepared bulk quantities at a brc level and growth uh, growth promoters like egg amino acid fish amino acid and a uh, panchagavya the farms And this is the overall i mean just overall pictures of uh, our things so coming to this of a farm diary uh, even we placed a farm diary to the farmers to track like how they are uh, practicing these things we have given package of practices to the farmers whether they are practicing or not like what kind of a uh, pest they are no noticing so we to to record those things we have given this farm diaries to the farmers and coming to uh, next uh, these are the so analysis of just i'll show pictures so that we can able to see so we we identified few blocks at the same age like same date of sowing we calculated the length of the plant i mean plant height so these are the things so except in amberish field we received higher height of the plant in natural farming in remaining areas also so up to the chemical field so like there is no difference between chemical and natural farming here what we observed up to now uh, there are no much differences between chemical and natural farming even though we are not i mean not 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 using chemicals so how we can so these are the uh, things and these are the farmers up to now we registered so many of the farmers uh, so we can see in the google map also we map how many farmers registered at one quantities their latitudes and longitudes so up to now we received 42 farmers in vikarabad district and yet to uh, receive as there are no there are uh, different kinds of situ uh, climatic conditions in vikarabad i request uh, parmesh uh, just to share these things about your thank you anil garu uh, good afternoon everyone uh, i am kumra parmesh sir working as a program associate in tiryani mandal asifabad district i am looking into uh, nf cotton activities in tiryani mandal so uh, firstly when we decided to perform this activities in uh, tiryani we got into connection with uh, sarmedi who is uh, the head of rai centers and uh, later we connected with patels who are head of uh, villages uh, regarding the work we are going to perform in this rai centers and asked them to send a uh, few farmers who are interested in uh, doing this uh, nf cotton uh, 
to the training where we conducted in hyderabad so later uh, after completion of the uh, trainings uh, just like anil sir explained just now uh, after coming back we have uh, performed the uh, preparations of uh, concoctions like uh, drawjiva amrutam and ganajiva amrutam so uh, vikarabad district is a little bit uh, fast as for the rain and uh, growth of crops but in tiryani the crops are germinating currently it's very small uh, in stage so uh, as per the uh, till date the numbers are uh, we are working in two rice centers actually pangadi madara rice center and another is ginnadari rice center so pangadi madara rice center we are working in six villages the rice center is basically community uh, cluster of villages so in pangadi madara rice center uh, we are working in six villages Uh, and uh, overall uh, in six villages uh, there are 16 farmers from pangadi madara rice center and uh, the ginnadari rice center we have 15 farmers in five villages overall we are uh, doing with uh, 31 farmers in tiryani mandal okay is so this is the oral picture of our thank you for your cooperation so if there are any uh, questions you can ask now okay thank you um uh, venkat uh, what is the pop for uh, uh, for application of all that you said there are uh, <coughs> Anil and all. Uh, seed treatment is there, and uh, application of FIM, FIM or Ganesh uh, Amrutha one and two are in the standing position. What are the different uh, uh, frequencies of application of Ganesh Amrutha as well as other concussions? If any disease comes, if you could yeah. give us the, the brief for uh, one short one slide on that, you will be in broadly. So it is very helpful to other farmers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Package yeah, and practice. Yeah. Unable to hear you. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Now it's slightly better. Please go. Hello. You can hear me, Nandi. Win piston, sir. Put it. Yeah. 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 Uh, prepared a detailed uh, package pieces for the NF pattern. Consider uh, the crop diversification uh, right from uh, PMDS till uh, harvest of the crop. And we are we are approaching phase uh, cropping season. So this season, how we can maintain the green uh, cropping system in the uh, field field uh, promote. crops in the fallow season summer that is summer season in the kharif rabi and summer season also uh, after the pmds uh, application of the uh, farm aid manure ganajiva amrutam that is type 2 ganajiva amrutam uh, at the time of land preparation and after at the time of sowing we are also suggesting them to uh, use uh, type, type 1 uh, ganajiva amrutam and later uh, during the crop season at uh, different stages uh, during the residual uh, stage flowering stage and the uh, uh, fruiting stage uh, we are suggesting them to use uh, uh, liquid ganajiva uh, amrutam dravajiva amrutam and some other uh, uh, growth promoters like sapdhanya uh, prakashayam okay there is a list and will supply i will uh, will uh, uh, Practice, practice all the uh, program areas, including North Coastal uh, in Telangana and Andhra, wherever we are working, we'll share this enough cotton uh, package of practice to all the uh, program officers. But have you have you uh, given package of practices to all the farmers? Like you have given the brochure, have you given the package of practices to all the? No, no, right. Now, just that is under preparation. Now we are going to pub, uh, prepare a, a PDF version within two, two days. 
and right now what we are doing uh, we have created a whatsapp group and uh, uh, timely with uh, every week we are uh, uh, sharing uh, uh, practices through us. what they should they are sharing for field photos and considering the field photo we are condition the weeding uh, interview week we are we are uh, giving suggestions But there, there are no uh, cattle uh, for uh, weeding purpose, no? There are no involvement of uh, draft animals for weeding purpose. But in the monocrop, in the monocrop, when uh, cotton grows in a rows, farmers are using cattle, especially for you know, weeding purposes. But in this case, uh, how do you ensure uh, integrating uh, draft animals uh, for uh, intercultural operations? Sorry, uh, could you repeat this once again? Hello, Sunny. Your voice Venkat. is like, you repeat Venkat. once again. Yeah, yeah. Venkat in the North Coast also, ASR and uh, Bhavani and other regions where the farmers are conventionally when they grow cotton in the row, row system, they simply they follow the row system. They keep like uh, two and a half uh, uh, feet uh, both row to row and uh, plant to plant. So that mm -hmm. kind of box kind of thing they follow it up and they are using that day using cattle, draft animals, and sometimes bullock, uh, buffaloes also, male mm -hmm. buffaloes also, for uh, intercultural operations. Mm -hmm. But in this case, how do you integrate? Because uh, the other crops also is uh, grazing as a part of uh, multi uh, yes. uh, cropping yes. system. Yes, yes. yes. So yes. Have you thought of uh, introducing cattle, draft animals in the intercultural operations? Yes, yes. Or that is they awarding it? Yes, yes. For first, are bringing uh, any other some other tools and yes, tools yes. or battery based tools? What is the farm mechanization you are following up in this? Yeah, we are inter integrating all the uh, practices like uh, uh, adjusting the intercultivator uh, according to the space. Okay, whether it is a uh, three feet distance, two and a half or four feet, we need to adjust according to the sp uh, spacing between the major crops, spacing between the inter crops. So that we can follow the inter intercultivation for the first time. That is very much possible with the bullock drawn intercultivator. But later stages, uh, uh, or that, uh, after uh, 30 days, that is not possible because we need to uh, do this with the help of uh, uh, cycle weeder or um, uh, we can continue with the manual intercultivation. But we can, uh, using the bullock, uh, bullock drawn intercultivator is not possible uh, after 30 days. That is impossible. So how many times the breeding takes place in? Uh... Yeah, in, in natural for farming, weeding weeding is a <laughs> is not major issue actually. Weeding can be done uh, one one time or two times. But later stages, the cover crops can't uh, cover the entire soil. The purpose of the uh, uh, using the intercrops is to. Uh, uh, cover the soil to suppress the growth of the weed. That is a, uh, an, another objective of the growing intercrops. Uh, so in, in this system, you can, uh, you might have observed the photographs in the Vikarabad Vika district. The entire field is covered with the crop, uh, green crops. There is no scope for the uh, weeds, actually. So now, now onwards, the farmers uh, face the weed problem at the, after this stage. Okay, uh, till the uh, 30 days or maximum 45 days, the weeding is, is the issue. But uh, after that, uh, there won't be any issue with the weeds and weeding with the farmer need not to uh, undertake any intercultivation uh, operation. But, but Venkat, can that be studied properly? Yes, yes. This is, I, I, Mane, yeah. uh, Mane, I think this is an exemption. So we should actually do uh, build, build evidence for it. Hmm? And then uh, the first reading, first reading will be by bullocks. Yes, that is possible. Very much possible. First reading by bullock drawn uh, intercultivator is possible. Uh, okay, that is done uh, we, I, because I personally experienced that. Because we need to adjust that uh, uh, daura, the guru, whatever we call. Uh, the second, second, and third. Uh, Please, uh, can I can I come in now? Yeah, please, Bhagya. Yeah. 
yeah so in uh, in uh, vikarabad area we have different uh, uh, length plates it's uh, some are very 6 inches and some are 12 inches uh, some uh, guru is with 3 feet uh, 3 3 feet uh, length so there are different uh, different uh, plates which can be used for the weeding uh, Bulagron uh, implements. So it's that is not an issue for Vikarabad uh, farmers, even for uh, uh, Asifabad. But I will come to you to give you some facts uh, related to the program. Uh, so uh, in in uh, whatever the Vikarabad farmers they they have done two times of bullock, I mean weeding with the Bulagron implements. I think now onwards there will be a bit difficult where uh, luxurious growth is coming in the field. Uh, where it's almost 45 days old uh, crops. Uh, majority of them are, uh, I think, less than uh, uh, 30 days uh, old crop. But very uh, few fields are there where 45 days old crop can be seen. That is one. Uh, coming to the Tiryani uh, Asifa uh, Bath, the, the model which we presented, which uh, Anil, uh, Anil Kumar P presented, uh, though so farmers accepted to do that model, but uh, when it's it, when uh, time came for the sowings, they rejected that model. He they just wanted to have uh, different kinds of pulses and oil seeds and uh, millets or vegetables in pl between plant to plant. They just wanted to have a space in uh, uh, cotton row to cotton row. So they do they don't want to have any other crop in the between uh, cotton to cotton. So, uh, because um, I mean, th there are some some sort of uh, you know, um, uh, still there is there is I think there is a need to work with them, but I think we will able to get uh, eight to ten uh, ten plots where we can see the entire model. But re rest of the farmers in Tiryani have adopted uh, a sort of a half of the model. I can say so. That is one point, and uh, yeah. So making, because this, I mean, I, I, I remember rightly, uh, Venkat sir, Venkat Garu was uh, mentioned that we need different, I mean, we all know the plant stage wise, we need different nutrition to the plant, right? It, it requires different nutrition. So till the vegetative growth, what kind of nutrition has to go? And one formation, we are ready with, equipped with all the you know, uh, solutions which can, like amino acids, Fish amino acids and amino acids and other things. And nutrition in that context, we are ready with all the types of. Uh, I mean, uh, the team is ready with all the types of uh, uh, concoctions and solutions to help the farmers to use them. But they, they these are all uh, no on cost basis. No one is uh, preparing. ERs are operated by the uh, concoctions, but farmers largely, this time I can see that the trend has changed. Farmers are making their own concoctions. Uh, only Jiva, this is the kind of thing that I mentioned. Hello. Yeah, I think I stop here. Thank you. Yes, Ravindra. Right. But there is one uh, assumption that ah. the cotton yield will not reduce when you have intercrops. I'm stopped. Yes, 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 yes. We are taking ah. care of that. We are taking care of that. No, 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 no. That is an assumption. Okay. Yes. You don't know. Yes. Right? Because of the competition, uh, cotton crop may also reduce. So it is important to monitor how the cotton crop, cotton is performing compared to the normal uh, monocrop cotton. In the adjoining fields, yes. is there any difference? Is there any uh, symptoms of uh, no nutrient deficiency? Mm. Huh? Yeah. So yeah. this check you need to inbuilt into the monitoring mechanism and generate evidence. Every week you you, you just have photographs of this cotton crop plus the other cotton crop comparatively. Uh, how is their growth performance? How is their um, nutrition deficiencies and all that? Okay. Yeah. So that uh, is that is one, and then the weed, weeds also you must have photographs, okay, because you can quantify it. 
we have to have photographs of how undergrowth uh, weed, weeds are there or not there okay. within the row or intra row intra row or intra row okay huh? for at least for sample plots you set up these observations so that you generate data systematically evidence systematically we understand this okay yes 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 uh, we'll we'll integrate this with the odk system and we'll get the data hmm yes yeah yes ravindra and when you promoted this model, so which seeds, BT cotton seeds or desi cotton seeds were used for right this? Right now we are going with the BT cotton because uh, we are slowly changing the scenario because uh, 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 because farmers are resist, uh, they, they may oppose if we suddenly change the entire system the, because the, uh, there are two, uh, so many issues, okay? One is the seed issue, seed availability issue because the market, the availability of the non-BT seed is also issue and the performance of the non-BT seed is also another issue. At this stage, we don't want to take that risk. Okay, Raj Ravindra suggested and Vagya suggested that uh, we should go with uh, BT uh, cotton at this day, at this day, uh, season, uh, at present season. Uh, later, if farmers accept, slowly we can adopt uh, non-BT and we can even go for the uh, varieties. Okay. Uh, if the the system supports and farmer accepts. Yeah. yeah. Hello? Yes, yes. Okay. This, this is a good slide. This is a good slide. Uh, but to uh, be showing a mixed uh, the soil fertility, the soil, uh, you know, uh, have you done any soil analysis before getting into this? Uh, I don't know because uh, 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 earlier, uh, some farmers may, uh, having some uh, soil profile data, we need to go uh, to that level actually. Uh, but all, we don't have the soil profile data of all the farmers right now. Uh, this this slide, see, uh, one leaf, two, two leaves will not um, help you because within a plant, there will be multiple types of leaves. Mm. Mm, I don't think this this kind of analysis, right? you have to fix the parameters of comparison. Uh, like okay. mm. So what is it you compare? The weed, weed growth, comparative photographs, then the plant growth, particularly cotton. Mm. Huh? And then uh, any nutrient uh, deficiencies, uh, all those things. Okay. Mm -hmm. At least periodically, at a defined time interval, take the measurements of it of some sample plots, sample plants. You should fix the sample plants also. We, uh, manage not one plant to another plant, but you should take diagonally or some method of uh, no sampling. Yeah, we, we, we'll, we'll integrate this with the FFS system, yes. Some diagonally, diagonally, every, say, 5 meter, one plant. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, have the same methodology both, in both ways. Mm. Otherwise, there, there is standard scrutiny. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yes. Yeah. So, additionally, uh, there will be two I mentioned this, the bus surveillance. Uh, and second is uh, uh, farmer wise, he won't be uh, whatever the practices were. Uh, when those practices are, are adapted by farmers, that's the kind of tracking. Uh, 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 yeah. yeah. Another thing, um, the, uh, when are the intercrops? Uh, when will the intercrops be harvested? Okay, uh, measure of the crops. Uh, the average period is calendar days. is calendar is there. So calendar is there. So so so. Uh, my suggestion is have uh, have some plant which grows on the soil, uh, sown along the line, so that it covers the crop after intercrops are uh, harvested. Okay. Yes. Yeah, just look at look at the possibility. Yeah. You mean uh, relay crop, Ravindra? A relay crop, which is not actually competing with cotton, but uh, no covers the soil. Like creepers, like creepers. 
అనుములు at this stage it may not compete with cotton i don't know mane i don't know mane it just as a test case see whether you can actually leave uh, leave soil cover beyond cotton also mm. Mm? and then by by mass addition at that time so maybe some legume uh, creeper which which is growing on the on the uh, on the soil not mm. climbing on the plant mm. okay we'll we'll do that yeah. so ali so, like the lakshman you can also come in and share your experience you have with the fields also yeah sorry sir no no go ahead go ahead bro so uh, recently lakshman have suggested thank you can you like lakshman can you please come in and share what are your observation and even asmar also visited i think he has good insights so, కెమికల్ ప్రాడక్ట్స్ కూడా చూస్తున్నారు లాస్ట్ వీక్ నేను దౌలతాబాద్ మండలంలో కొన్ని ఫీల్డ్స్ చూశాను మేడం మామూలుగా ఏంటంటే ఆ ప్లాంట్ చాలా అంటే ఇప్పుడు మన రో టు రోలో కాటన్ ప్లాంట్ మధ్యలో ఉన్నటువంటి క్రాప్స్ వల్ల కావచ్చు లేదంటే చాలా క్లోజ్డ్ గా ఉండడం వల్ల ఏమో తెలియదు కానీ మిగతా ప్లాంట్స్ కంటే కూడా ఈ ప్లాంట్స్ చాలా హెల్తీగా ఉన్నాయి మేడం అంటే కొన్ని ఫీల్డ్స్ లో చూసినప్పుడు కాటన్ ప్లాంట్స్ చాలా హెల్తీగా ఉన్నాయి అదే ఇండివిజువల్ గా ఉండి దూరంగా ఉన్నటువంటి ప్లాంట్ అంత హెల్తీగా లేవు అంటే విత్ ఇన్ ద ఫీల్డ్ లోనే నేను గమనించిన దాంట్లో కూడా ఒక్కొక్కసారి అంటే కొన్ని దగ్గర కొన్ని ప్లేస్ లలో విత్తనం సరిగ్గా పెరగలేదు అంటే మిగతా ఇంటర్ క్రాప్స్ సరిగ్గా పెరగని ప్లేస్ లో కంటే అన్ని క్రాప్స్ పెరిగి వాటి మధ్యలో ఉన్నటువంటి ప్లాంట్ చాలా హెల్తీగా ఉన్నాయి అనమాట అది నేను గమనించాను మేడం ఇండివిజువల్ దాంట్లో చూసినప్పుడు ఫోటోలు ఉన్నాయా ఉన్నాయి సార్ నా దగ్గర ఉన్నాయి ఆ ఫోటోస్ ఏం చేస్తారంటే పవర్ పాయింట్ లో ప్రెసెంటేషన్ పెట్టి పవర్ పాయింట్ లో పెట్టి దానికి నోట్స్ రాయి ఓకే సో దీస్ అబ్జర్వేషన్ షుడ్ బి రికార్డెడ్ ప్రాపర్లీ విత్ ఎవిడెన్స్ ఉన్నాయి సార్ ఉన్నాయి ఉన్నాయి ఫోటోస్ ఉన్నాయి నా దగ్గర చూపిస్తాను ఇప్పుడు వద్దు లక్ష్మణ్ ఓకే ఓకే తర్వాత నేను సార్ ఇంకా నీ అబ్జర్వేషన్స్ చెప్పు ఇంకా చెప్తున్నావు కదా తర్వాత మామూలుగా ఇప్పుడు ఇంకొక ఫీల్డ్ లో చూసినప్పుడు సార్ ఇప్పుడు మామూలుగా ఇప్పుడు మనకు పెస్ట్ పెస్ట్ అలా చూసినప్పుడు మనకు జో జోవారు రో గానీ అట్లా తర్వాత బార్డర్ లో ఉన్నటువంటి అవతల క్రాప్ కు ఇవతల క్రాప్ చూస్తే అవతల క్రాప్ లో ఇండివిజువల్ ఉన్న క్రాప్ లో పెస్ట్ ఉన్నది ఇవతల చూసినప్పుడు అంత పెస్ట్ కూడా కనిపించట్లేదు సార్ ప్లాంట్స్ మీద పెస్ట్ కనిపించట్లేదు ఎక్కువ శాతము గ్రీన్ గ్రామ్ ఉంటే గ్రీన్ గ్రామ్ మీద కనిపిస్తుంది కానీ కాటన్ మీద మనకు పెస్ట్ కనిపించట్లేదు అవతల క్రాప్ లో పచ్చపురు కనిపించింది సార్ నాకు తర్వాత ఆకులు కూడా హోల్స్ బడి ఉన్నవి తర్వాత రెడ్ కలర్ కి రెడ్ కలర్ స్పాట్స్ కూడా కనిపించినవి బట్ అదే విత్ ఇన్ ద ఈ క్రాప్స్ లో చూసినప్పుడు అట్లాంటి సిమ్టమ్స్ ఏమి కూడా లేవు సార్ ఈ మూడు నేను అబ్జర్వేషన్ సో లక్ష్మణ్ ఏం చేస్తా అంటే ఇప్పుడు ఇన్ ఎవ్రీ సైడ్ ఎవ్రీ సైడ్ కన్స్యూడ్ ఏ స్మాల్ టూ త్రీ మెంబర్ ఫార్మర్ గ్రూప్ ఓకే ఓకే సార్ అండ్ దెన్ ఆస్ దెమ్ టు గో అండ్ దెన్ విజిట్ ఎవ్రీ వీక్ అండ్ దెన్ రికార్డ్ దర్ అబ్జర్వేషన్ విత్ ఫోటోస్ ఓకే సార్ సో వెన్ యూ గో యూ యూ కన్స్యూట్ ఏ గ్రూప్ విచ్ విల్ గో అండ్ దెన్ టేక్ ద అబ్జర్వేషన్ మేక్ ద అబ్జర్వేషన్ ఫార్మర్స్ గ్రూప్స్ ఉంటాయి <laughs> Hmm? Yeah, sir. Okay. So, the, and then uh, have a video. Every time uh, when, when they complete their uh, observations, have a video, in-video, in uh, this thing, uh, observations. Okay, sir. Okay? 
Okay, sir. So then you record their observations also. So all these things will be evidence for us uh, for the entire thing. And then it's also important to see which soil you are talking about. Ah. We you have black soils, you have red soils, and you have other soils also, mixed soils also. Okay. Okay. Sir. Hmm. So you need to okay. see which soils uh, you are making observations. That's very important. Okay, sir. Sure, sir. Even if you systematically have table low, you have to make the observation. Then you can prove the evidence. Otherwise, all these observations become anecdotal. How, sir? Okay. Okay, now? Okay, sir. Anything else? Uh, no. No, no. So I'll ask Phil to share their experience. Opal Garu, Satyam, Anjilaya. My experience will share your Kundra. You can pitch it. Good afternoon, everyone, sir. Sir, I am going to go to the house. I am Signal problem on the Anil in Pisan. Okay, okay. Japan Japan. Like a domo mandal chessi, oka fadi fields on the mana in the cotton low, oka four member five members, so a character runner five members, so a two so two three members, so two members, so twenty guntas at Launa, sir. Cook Sari, Vijit Chael Chael Chunta Sara, the Indukante, at the end of cotton pina, Manaka, the cotton pina, Manaka, the Gatlumemu, every Pontu Sari, Mana, Nima Stramgani, Agnes Stramgani, Atlantic space chase from Sar, Adi, growth promoter Kosamu, Idi Mana. The Madravaju Amrutamu, Idi Spray Chase from Sir, Ipu Prajent Moka Kade, Indukante, Moka Peria, the Shakabati, Ipu E. Timelo, Ganaju Amrutamu, E. Cham, Sir, Prati Moka Kada, Moka Kada, E. Sunamu, Ante Mana Kanpisun in Sarante, Manaku Pedaga, variation name Kanpisaledu, Indukante, Mana the pitches I fish to in the place of mana e in the lo chasna fields in the end of the variation same can be salvo in the country manam daily morning just from Kabati than Saripo Poshakalu and this from Kabati and the variation same can be salvo sir. It is an observation sir. In the country main governor who put me in choosing the antis are Lakshma sir or not too. Pulses, Pesaragani, Bebergani, Vitiki Matramu, Purgu Kiratundra, Atakani, Puramana, Penu Atlanti, the Akuk in the Penu, Penu Atlanti, the Atakan, Danki, Nimal Space in Chamsar. Nimal Space, Oka two, three times Space in Chamala, Adiguda clear I puindi. Maul Cotton Lope, Pestlegan Bisna Mamul. Katalo Idi Katalo is Manak a can pitcher Adi Akaraguda can sir Madi Man in the uh Penu Atlantic can be Sundi. Okay angel and te Lakshman. So even the observations this could not observation so control plot about this call. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay. Control plot, lo, pesticides, separate people go there, pesticides, even sir, that's called this call. In the control, control plot data lack, what is data? Name is called. What is that? Okay, sir. Control plot data lack, what is? Then you can't explain whether this is good or bad. 
అవును సార్ కరెక్ట్ సో యూ షుడ్ గెట్ ద కంట్రోల్ ప్లాట్ దానిలో ఫెర్టిలైజర్స్ ఏమి ఇస్తారు పెస్టిసైడ్స్ ఏమి ఇస్తారు ఎంత వచ్చింది టోటల్ అబ్జర్వేషన్స్ కంపారిటివ్ గా ఉండాలి ఓకే గో హెడ్ ఇంకా ఎవరు చెప్తున్నారు సార్ నమస్తే సార్ నేను గోపాల్ మాట్లాడుతున్నాను దా వికారాబాద్ డిస్టిక్ లో ప్రొడక్షన్ తీసుకుంటాం సార్ అయితే మేము దళితాబాద్ మండలంలో వచ్చేసి ఒక ఇరవై మూడు మంది రైతులతో ఎన్ఎఫ్ కాటన్ వేయించాం సార్ బొమ్మరస్పేట్ వచ్చి ఒక తొమ్మిది మంది ఉన్నారు సార్ మనకు దోమలు వచ్చేసి ఒక పది మంది ఉన్నారు సార్ ఇట్లా మేము నేనైతే పిల్లలు అబ్జర్వేషన్ చేసిన విషయం ఏమిటి సార్ అంటే ప్రజెంట్ గా అంటే బార్డర్ లో ఉన్న పంటకు కొంచెము జీడ అటువంటిది అటాక్ అయింది సార్ లోపలికి మాత్రం వెళ్ళలేదు ఎందుకంటే మధ్యలో మిలియర్స్ అవి ఉన్నాయి కాబట్టి దాని నుంచి లోపలికి ఎక్కువ జీడాట్లు కనిపిస్తుంది ఇంకోటి పెద్ద పురుగులు కూడా పత్తి మీన ఎక్కువ లేవు ఏమన్నా ఎక్కడైనా వస్తే మన పెసర గానీ మినుము గానీ బిబ్బెరి మీద కనిపిస్తుంది అంటే ఇక్కడ బయట వస్తే వాళ్ళేమో బయట పొల్ల పంటలలో వస్తేనేమో పత్తి మీద పురుగులు కనిపిస్తున్నాయి గ్రోత్ ఇంకా సేమ్ ఉంది సార్ బయట ఫోల్డ్ పక్క ఫీల్డ్ పత్తి చూసినా మన ఎన్ఎఫ్ కాటన్ పత్తి చూసినా గ్రోత్ ఇంక దగ్గరలోనే ఉంది మొత్తం పైన అంటే మనకు పురుగుల అనేది ఇక్కడ తగ్గింది సార్ మనకు ఎందుకంటే ఈ పలు పంటలు ఉండడం వల్ల ఆ నేను ఇద్దరు పురుగుల ఉదిరి తగ్గింది పంట కూడా అనేది ఏపుగా వస్తుంది మనకు ఎక్కడ కూడా పెద్ద డ్యామేజ్ అయితే కనిపిస్తలేవు రెండవది ఇద్దరు ముగ్గురు రైతులు నేను అడిగితే ఈ విధంగా ఎట్లా ఉందంటే ఇది బెస్ట్ ఉంది మళ్ళా సార్ నేను ఎక్కువ వేసుకుంటా అనే రైతులు ఇద్దరు ముగ్గురు నాతో కూడా మాట్లాడేస్తారు అది దౌలతాబాద్ లో ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఆసిఫాబాద్ లో ఎట్లా ఉంది బ్లాక్ సాయిల్స్ లో ఎట్లా ఉంది ఇప్పుడు మీరు లక్ష్మి మీరు చూడాల్సింది ఏంటంటే వేరే వేరే సాయిల్స్ ఎట్లా ఉందో కూడా చూడాలి తప్పకుండా సార్ ఓకే సార్ అంటే అసిఫాబాద్ లో మనకు మొత్తం కూడా కొంచెము మరం భూమి ఉంటుంది సార్ గర్స్ భూమి అంటాం ఇప్పుడు అది ఇప్పుడిప్పుడే సోయింగ్ అయింది సార్ అది అబ్జర్వేషన్స్ ప్లాట్కి ప్లాట్కి వేరీ అవుతాయి కదా ఆ వేరియేషన్ చూడాలి ఎక్కడ పర్ఫామ్ అవుతుంది ఎక్కడ పర్ఫామ్ అవట్లేదు అందరికి నేను చెప్పేది ఏంటంటే ఇదేదో మనము అంత బాగుంటుంది అని చెప్పడం వద్దు నిజంగా అబ్జర్వ్ చేసి ఎట్లా ఉంది ఏంటి అనేది చెప్దాం ఎక్కడన్నా ఏమన్నా బాగాలేకపోతే బాగాలేదని చెప్దాం ద్రవజీవామతం ఎవరి పిప్పిన్ డేస్ కు వాడు తప్పకుండా వాడిస్తే రైతులతో బెస్ట్ కంట్రోల్ కూడా దగ్గర అవుతుంది సార్ నాకు తెలియదు నువ్వు వాడిచ్చి చూపించు నాకు ఓకే సార్ ఓకే సార్ మీ మీ కథలు ఏమీ నమ్మను నాకు ప్రూఫ్ చూపించాలి గోపాల్ చూపిస్తాం సార్ నేను చెప్పిన ఏమీ నమ్మట్లేదు నాకు ఎవిడెన్స్ కావాలి ప్రూఫ్ కావాలి ఓకే ఓకే సార్ నోట్ మాటలు కాదు ఓకే ఓకే సార్ తర్వాత ఇప్పుడు ఇంటర్ క్రాప్స్ లో పెస్ట్ కంట్రోల్ చేయకపోతే ఏమవుతుందంటే ఆ పెస్ట్ సైకిల్ మెయిన్ క్రాప్ లో కంటిన్యూ అవుతుంది అవును సార్ కదా అందుకని ఇప్పుడు ఇంటర్ క్రాప్ నెగ్లెక్ట్ చేయకూడదు ఇంటర్ క్రాప్ లో పెస్ట్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ నెగ్లెక్ట్ చేయకూడదు పెస్ట్ కనుక బిల్డప్ అయితే కనుక ఆ లైఫ్ సైకిల్ మెయిన్ దానిలో కంటిన్యూ అందరు అనేది అదే మల్టిపుల్ క్రాప్స్ ఉంటే కనుక కాంబినేషన్ చూడండి మీకు కంటిన్యూస్ ఇయర్ లాంగ్ సైకిల్స్ ఇస్తున్నారు కాబట్టి మల్టిప్లై అయిపోతాయి ఫాస్ట్ గానీ అంటే అర్థమైందా ఇప్పుడు ఒక సైకిల్ అయింది అనుకో ఒక ఒక మాత్ గుడ్డు పెట్టింది అనుకో ఒక ఇయర్ అని పెడుతుంది అది ఆ వెయ్యిలో వంద పెరిగినాయి అనుకో అవి మళ్ళీ మాత్లు అయితే అవి ఇంకో పెట్టి అట్లా పెరిగిపోతాయి అది కాటన్ లో బోల్స్ వచ్చినాక మొదలైతే కనుక అప్పుడు తక్కువ ఉంటుంది ఇక్కడ ముందు నుంచే వస్తుంది కదా అందుకని ఇంకా ఎక్కువ అవుతుందని చెప్పి జనాలు అంటారు అనమాట ముందు నుంచే దాన్ని మల్టిప్లై చేస్తున్నా అని అంటారు జనాలు అందుకని ఒకసారి అబ్జర్వ్ చేయండి అది అంబరీష్ అనే రైతు సార్ అతను ఎల్లో ప్లేట్స్ కానీ వైట్ ప్లేట్స్ కానీ తర్వాత పిరమోన్ డ్రాప్స్ కానీ ఇవన్నీ పెట్టి దాని మీద ఎప్పుడైతే ఆ దోమలు పురుగులు పడుతున్నాయో అప్పుడు అతను చాలా కేర్ గా ముందస్తుగానే ఆయన స్పేలు ఇవన్నీ కూడా మనం చెప్పకున్నా గానీ ఆయన ముందుగా వాళ్ళని మన వాళ్ళని అడిగి స్పేల్ చేస్తా ఉన్నారు సార్ ఆ ఫీల్ చూస్తే స్పేల్ చేస్తున్నారు కానీ చాలా స్పేల్ చేశారు అనుకో దానికంటే ఒకసారి కెమికల్ స్పేల్ చేయడం బెటర్ కదా అనుకుంటారు లేదు సార్ అంటే ఇప్పుడు పురుగు ఉదృతిని బట్టి వాళ్ళు ప్రయత్నం చేస్తున్నారు సార్ అంటే ఎల్లో ప్లేట్స్ తర్వాత పిరమోన్ డ్రాప్స్ బట్టి వాటిని బట్టి ట్రాక్ చేస్తున్నారు సార్ అవును ఆ కౌంట్ తీసుకుంటున్నారా ఎల్లో ఎల్లో డ్రాప్స్ లో ఎప్పుడు పడుతున్నాయి తర్వాత పిరమోన్ డ్రాప్స్ లో ఎప్పుడు ఎక్కువ పడుతున్నాయి వెంకట ఆ సిస్టమ్ పెట్టుకోవాలి సమ్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ప్రెస్ సర్విలెన్స్ సిస్టమ్ ఓకే సార్ చేస్తున్నారు సార్ అదే రెని ఒడిస్సా టీమ్ 
Good afternoon to all of you. I am Shailaja and I am working in Wapara. I am yeah. audible, sir. Yes, yes, Shailaja. Uh, what is your take? Sorry, sir. What do you feel about the presentation, about the experiment? The uh, low is, uh, I have a small submission, sir. I want to know the cost of cultivation and income in, sir, uh, natural farming, farming practices and also in chemical practices. That will come to at the end of the season, no? Okay, sir. Abhi to season shuru hua. Sir. Hmm? Okay, sir. Uh, because I am asking this, uh, in the region of Balangir and Noapada, sir, there is a large area under cotton. We are not working with cotton right now. No, you have already started. Uh, this thing. season has started. Showings are over. Uh, it is already over, sir. First feeding is uh, on the head. Uh -huh. You are late. So, agar, uh, uh, if there are any areas where sowing is taking place now, probably you can try some experiments here, like like this. You can join this group and then initiate some. Okay, if, if there are some sowings now, to, now happening. Sir. Yeah. My suggestion is take some plots uh, where sowings are uh, are ready to happen. Uh, if it is if it is there. Huh? I'll just try out some experimentation. Uh, we are on the last of July. It is already covered, sir. No. Okay, I will check with the field level staff, sir. On its hmm. Hmm. experience, uh, experience there... from Harmony. Oops. Yeah, our team is there. We are sitting. Shankar is there. Hello. Sir. Sir Shankar. Ah, sir. Imne sir, the na ko doubt unde the jadi kyan saar na kar pe jaise sir. The intercrop ko intercrop main crop ne dominant stress unde kada. Dhan bolne na problem hota na nadi kano. Bank sir na kadi. Uh, clarity, no, no, the yeah. observation, Shankar, yeah, I sir. mean, Gopal and all these people are saying where there are multiple crops, the cotton crop is more healthy than the main crop, less than the monocrop. Monocrop fields to compare, as say, the crops where intercrops are there, cotton crop is healthy. That is the observation uh, coming up so far. Uh, Ravindra, now, right now, what happened, there are 10 fields which we are working over there. Dantlo caught any seru in the Ipru one in one or two days low in the seeds and the procured in the interval. The Adi Inca Vale. So that observation in Kundun Tarvat. So we very also disappointing, added... JP. Very disappointing. Started very early and then we finally landed up only 10 plots and not much has been done. Last year, but it started last year telling this thing. Mm -hmm. Very under insisted so much, and then nothing has happened. Very bad. Pramil, you are there. Yeah. I saw your name. Yes, yes. Pramil, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pramil this, this is this is building up this um story. I mean, right. cotton mill. The challenge is the the areas where we worked all transferred to money uh, shifted to cotton. Mm. Right, right. So now then we initiated this thing. So far, the uh, I mean, you see the methodology of right. how they introduce this thing and all that. And right. then, uh, no, so far the result seems to be okay. Let's see how it progresses. No, this is very good. So maybe so in, the, work, in, uh, in the in the yeah, cotton uh, farmer. Achha. So okay, good. Uh -huh. actually, so the, is this your question? Can I try to? Uh, uh, share from my experience when I was working. Yes, yes. So why this uh, during the intercrop? Uh, yeah. cotton, actually, cotton roots are very uh, comparatively uh, deep roots deep. Uh, from the intercrop, and the re relationship with the uh, other crops, intercrops, uh, where they actually get uh, more uh, a better environment to grow, right? Uh, so this is because other crops, other roots like a leguminous crop which also uh, do nitrogen fixation. And uh, in during the rainy season, what happened uh, sometimes is the more rain. 
which uh, actually create problem in air space when you uh, uh, take intercrop so this this all soil structure will uh, improvise which help to uh, cotton crop to more uh, roots to go more deeper so such factor actually what was the my objective because i was also uh, in uh, experimenting this uh, green crop as intercrop in between uh, of cotton crop uh, like this sunay uh, sunay crop which was very helpful because after kya hua ki करीब पच्चीस से तीस दिन की ग्रोथ के बाद हम लोग उसको जुताई कर देते थे तो बीट भी नहीं होता था और ग्रीन क्रॉप जो है वो उसमें एज ए फिर मल्च के रूप में और एक हरी ग्रीन मैन्यूर के रूप में काम आ जाता तो इन नेचुरल फार्मिंग प्रोमोटिंग विदेक्टेड फार्मिंग एक्चुअली दिस वॉज ऑल नमस्ते सर कि कैसे कॉटन फार्मर्स कैन अडॉप्ट नेचुरल फार्मिंग प्रैक्टिसेस विद अप्लाइंग ग्रीन क्रॉप्स एंड आल्सो लैगनस एंड अदर क्रॉप्स एंड इंटर क्रॉप या सो दिस इज माय स्मॉल एक्सपीरियंस व्हाट आई वांटेड टू बी अ वेरी गुड दिस आई नो वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट इट्स नॉट इजी बट मैं सुन रहा था वेंकट इज वाज शेयरिंग दैट द बीटी Farmer using the BT seed, yeah, it's not uh, easy. So, but it, no, no, it is, yeah. So, BT seed doesn't get it. First, it's not so easy. And if yeah, 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 if natural other practices or those chemical zero, then the transition is a journey. But it's not easy. So, Ramin, uh, one um, proposal is so if you can actually identify cotton areas. and uh, in the ncnf uh, ncnf t i mean uh, network yes. Yes. if uh, correlation if there are any cotton um, um, growing areas and the partners uh, so yes. uh, initiate uh, what we call the community of practice on cotton uh, nf in cotton okay sure sure so i was uh, in green foundation so, working with the 5000 cotton uh, 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 so so ramil yes. ramil make it a formal thing okay. initiate yes. initiate take initiative on Community of practice on NF cotton. Sure. Okay. Sure. So let us let us build or uh, bring all the people who are working on cotton together, right. hmm? and then uh, periodically share the experiences. Sure. Okay. So create that platform so that you know next year we can go uh, full hog into it, and this year we'll have a top condition at the uh, NCNF level also. Sure. This is okay. nice. This can be a line of activity which is light and then very productive. bring right. all those people working on cotton together sure this is yeah, yeah. super idea yes uh, sir sir inko ka experience sir i mean small observation sir sir madam madam uh, just one minute madam go ahead go ahead స్మాల్ అబ్జర్వేషన్ సార్ ఒక ఒక ఫార్మర్ దగ్గర ఊడ్పల్లిలో ఒక ఫార్మర్ దగ్గర మన కెమికల్ కొట్టిన ఫార్మర్స్ ఏ ఫీల్డ్ చూసినా జనరల్ కనబడట్లేదు మేడం మా ఊడ్పల్లిలో ఒక ఫార్మర్ దగ్గర నేను లాస్ట్ లాస్ట్ మంత్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ డేట్ రోజు ఆయన సోయింగ్ చేసిండు ఎన్ఎఫ్ కాటను ప్లస్ ఈ మన ఈ పలు పంటలు మొత్తం టోటల్ గా ఈ ఈ ఫీల్డ్ లో మనకు రీసెంట్ నేను అప్పటి నుంచి ఇప్పటి వరకు వన్ మంత్ లా ఫోర్ టైమ్స్ నేను ద్రవజీవాంతం స్ప్రే చేయించాను ప్లస్ మన టూ టైమ్స్ నీమా నీమా స్ప్రే చేయించాను ఘనజీవామృతము పోయించాను బట్ ఆ ఫీల్డ్ లో మనకు జర్యలు కనిపిస్తున్నాయి మేడం నేను మన కెమికల్ ను యూజ్ చేసిన ఫార్మర్ దగ్గర ఎక్కడ కనిపించట్లేదు ఆ ఫార్మర్ దగ్గర మాత్రం కనిపిస్తున్నాయి జస్ట్ టు ట్రాన్స్లేట్ వాట్ హి సెడ్ so the earthworms uh, they can see earthworms in these plots compared to other plots chemical plots may earthworms here this may they could see the earthworms so uh, you need to have some uh, farmers observations kada miru chinna farmer group pettandi vallani observe chesi prathi varamu oka chinna recording iskondi note iskondi okay okay sir okay sir yeah systematic okay, sir. Sure, sure. Pagi was saying something. Uh, no one, because uh, sowing have all for something.
Winter Clan. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Okay, you are on mute. Unable to hear you. Maybe traveling. Okay. Anil, are you taking uh, data through mobile application or just uh, farmers anyway? You have provided all these uh, diaries, no? Farmers' diaries. Is, is, uh, how frequently you are getting uh, data from farmers for satellizing and analysis and all that? Is there any some mechanism? No, we are taking manually right now. So, so every farmer is having one a notebook like mentioning these things like when they are spray uh, when they are doing sprayings and when they are uh, uh, doing these uh, intercultural activities like weeding spraying of concoctions oh, etc those are all there but how frequently are getting data centralizing it but it's only <laughs> the farmers any, with... any, oh. any best surveillance will be done we, uh, I mean, still it is uh, no body care uh, preparation process will uh, will start from this this week onwards so one, every day few model farmers will send the per surveillance data through the odk and uh, uh, package of practices by the farmers will be uh, I mean, uploaded once in a week once in a week okay that is a frequency in which we decided but we had to start because the, the odk process i mean Lots of revisions are happening, so that's yeah. Adding to Bhagya's this thing, there is a training schedule for tomorrow and day after tomorrow, where we will be orienting the farmers on data collection and everything, even the field stuff. ODK is almost ready, and field diaries will be issued, and um, uh, we will be tracking the earlier information and the information from now as well. Okay, yeah, thank you. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. Um, if the, nothing is there to share and uh, discuss, can we close this? Yeah. If Adil, yes. have you done with all your points? Yeah. So, uh, it's Bondi, it's a, a very happy to see the results in this thing. I only hope, no, you do the data systematically. Control is very, very important. Systematic data collection is important, not just anecdotal. Bondi, Baledu, Ikar Bondi, Yaka Jerilu, Neopiyaladu. So, you need to have a systematic control at Launadi, Ikar at Launadi. And I'm again repeating that the health of the cotton plant, hmm? should be monitored continuously so that you will have an early warning system. If there is any nutrition deficiency, anything coming up, we'll know beforehand. Right. Okay. okay. So this is to occur to me. Yeah. Good work. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anil. Thank you. Thank you, Anil. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. 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 Thank